us here and us understand what is happening out there and what has been an extremely fluid situation. We are coming up at the top of the hour, 2 a.m. here, and what has been a multi-hours, perhaps seven close to eight or nine hour uh, incident that we have been following here across Kalamazoo County. We'll update you on where we stand right now. Police say that uh, they do have a suspect in custody, but this is after six people were shot dead. Uh, in what were three separate shooting scenes. The first one, uh, a shooting scene at an apartment complex uh, where police say that a woman was shot several times, as you heard Lauren say, in a drive-by shooting. She was injured and taken to the hospital. Uh, that was not one of the fatalities, thankfully. And then, uh, not long after this scene and not far from it, there was the second scene playing out in Kalamazoo County tonight. This was a Sealy Kia dealership. This is where police say two people were shot and killed by this shooter at random in the parking lot here. Uh, unclear, we're trying to work to confirm who these victims were. And then not long after this, at around 10.20, Michigan State Police say the shooter made his way to the Cracker Barrel in Texas Township just off I-94, where he shot at four people killing them. He injured several more. We heard of a heroin story from Michigan State Police who said there was a nine-year-old victim who was believed to have been dead. He was taken to the hospital where he was thankfully later revived. One of the miracles in what has been an otherwise bloody and awful night here. And then finally, the final scene is all wrapping up at around 1240, what you're seeing right now, the corner of Porter and Ransom in downtown Kalamazoo. This is where authorities say the suspect, a man in his 50s driving that dark-colored Chevy HHR, was arrested. And they feel strongly this is the man that they have been looking for without a doubt. They say they located evidence in that car suggesting, uh, giving them pretty clear indications that this was the man they had been looking for all along. He is now in police custody tonight after what has been a terrible night across Kalamazoo and leaving a lot of unanswered questions. Of course, the biggest one as to why anyone would do this. There appears to be no connection between the suspect and any of these victims. It is a story we will continue to follow, both on air and online. You can stay tuned to fox17online.com for the latest coverage on this overnight. And again, when our morning news starts, we will be live in Kalamazoo for Fox 17 Morning News starting at 5 a.m., bringing you the very latest on this. For now, we thank you for joining this breaking news coverage. I'm Jason Orwitz. We hope you have a good night.